In this video, we are going to talk about adding content to your Google site, website, or blog, whatever it is that you're using or choosing to use it for. Um, so you'll notice that on the right hand side, you have options, you have insert, you have pages, and you have themes. So themes you've already chosen, you can change those at any time. You're going to, for the most part, stay on the insert tab. And you have all of these options to insert. Um, you can choose a layout that is predetermined, and you just have to populate it. You can put something that is then collapsible so you won't see it unless the person clicks on it. You can have a table of contents, you can have a series of images, you can have a button, you can have a divider, you can have a placeholder, you can create a YouTube channel, uh, sorry, you can uh, embed a YouTube video, a map, anything from your Google Drive as well. Okay, so that is where you're going to spend a lot of your time, but you can also double click on uh, any space on the page and it will also give up, give you a really simple menu. Um, you can upload from your computer, you can add text, you can uh, grab something from your Google Drive, or you can search an image or upload an image or embed. So I'm going to just grab this. Um, it's a custom layout that I kind of like. It's got an image here, some text, so this is going to be my title. And when you double click, when you click on this little arrow, it'll give you a choice of how you want your text to look. So if you um, want it to be a heading or a subheading, it'll look slightly different. A title will look also very different. It could be small. And again, a lot of this will, deter will be determined by the theme that you've chosen. You can also bold it, you can center it. Okay, and then here is automatically some text. If I want it to be collapsible, remember that means that someone won't, won't see it necessarily until they click on it. And then here, I'm just gonna add an image. I can select it, I can upload it, I can find one in Drive, or I can add a YouTube, um, I can add a YouTube video. So again, every time I click on image, it will allow me to search or grab a photo. Okay, so I'm going to search for um, the Amazon rainforest. And again, this is, um, all of these images are free to use or share. I love that image. I'm going to insert it. Okay, so now I've got a title. I can add text. I can grab something from my Google Drive if I've already created a document of some sort. Okay or a Google slide, here's my blog assignment I'm gonna insert and you'll notice that it goes in as a slide and I can click on um, the links in there and I can center it, I could do whatever I like. So if you have something pre-prepared in your Google Drive like a doc or a slideshow or a Google drawing or a Google sheet, you can definitely pull it in here. Anything you're not happy with, you're gonna undo. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add pages. Okay, so my first page is like that. If I select the header and I go pages, add a page, I'm going to call it article one or actually uh, give it an actual title. You can do whatever you want there. You're going to notice that article one has the exact same header. That's not to say that you can't change the image. You totally can change the image, but it's when you have it isolated, you're gonna to continue to have the same thing. That is totally a personal preference, okay? I'm gonna have my text here, my introduction to what I want here, okay? So now I'm gonna go article two. And done. And you'll notice that when I go back to my home page, and I can slide those around, right? Like if, if I wanted them to be hidden, I could add that. If I wanted article one and article two to be a sub, like if I wanted article two to be a sub page, I could do that and I just have to pull it back out. So I know it's its own page because it's there. When I click on the three dots, I can make it the home page. I could duplicate the page. I can add a sub page or I could hide it from the navigation. You don't want to hide it from the navigation. So let's go back to our home page, which is the blog. And now you should notice 
publish for a second, because remember, nothing really saves unless you hit publish. So I'm going to hit publish, and I've got one page and my other pages. So that's literally how you would add it. And you'll notice here that I had put side navigation. If you don't like that and you want them to be on the top, you could always go back and change it. So go to nav navigation, remember the little gear? You go there and you put it on top. And that's what it looks like when you have it on the top. So it really does depend on, on what you want to do. So then again, just a reminder to share this with your teacher. You're going to go on the drop down menu. You're going to view published sites and you're going to copy this. Now you must be wondering, like I just changed the navigation. Remember I didn't hit pu publish, so it didn't actually save those changes.